Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Jamboard to annotate historical images. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I found this interesting picture on Flickr's The Commons, which is a great place to find all kinds of historical images that are in the public domain and have no known copyright restrictions. So I'm going to download this one here. And you can see there I can download it in a variety of sizes. I'm going to use the original size, which in this case is the highest resolution available. And we'll see there that it's downloaded and it's got a file name. It's just a whole bunch of numbers and letters. So I'm going to open it up and look at it. And then I'm going to rename it just so that I can keep track of it a little bit better on my computer. And I'd recommend that your students do the same. I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to rename this file. I'm just going to select Save As. And I'm going to rename this one now as, let's say, Speed Racer. And I'll save it on my desktop as is. Now I'm going to close that out. And let's go over here to Google Jamboard and let's create a new jam. And let's call this one historical race car. And I want to set my background. So I'm going to set my background here by adding an image. And let's browse and upload an image. And I have it here on my desktop. Well, let's go and grab that image. It's on my desktop here. There it is. And now I have that image as the background. Now, if I want to add some annotations to it, let's use the drawing tools that are available here. Let's use the pen. And let's say I'll use red. And I'll use a marker so it's a little bit thicker line than just the pen line. And let's point to this wheel. And I'll point to the wheel right here as well. Draw a couple arrows. And then let's add in a little text note. And I'm going to write something like, why would they use solid wheels if they're trying to go fast? And let's click and drag that box and resize it. And let's change out that font so that we can actually see it. And let's go to text color. And now we see a different text color. There we go. That's a better text color to show up on the screen. We could also use a sticky note and say the same thing. Why would they use solid wheels if they're trying to go fast. And now I can use that sticky note instead of just the text box and I'll get rid of the text box itself. We'll click here and delete it. And now we'll just have that little sticky note, which is even easier to see on the screen than the text box was. Now, if I want to invite students to work on this with me, I'm going to share it just like I'd share any Google document. Let's change this one here. We'll copy the link and we'll allow them to be editors. And I can put that link wherever I would normally share links in my learning management system, like Google Classroom, Canvas, or maybe just email it out to people to collaborate on annotating this image with me. So that's how you can use Google Jamboard to annotate historical images. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.